we will try to do something in this issue. Thank you. Question number 22, Shri Shivaram Gorda. Question number 22, madam. Yes, honorable. Speaker, madam, taking to the advantage of the flaws in the present land record system, the mischievous elements of the society have been duping the genuine buyers of the land. Most of the time, it becomes very difficult to buyers to verify the authenticity of the title owner of the land. There are instances of a same plot of land being sold a number of times to the different buyers of the foregoing documents, forging documents. Madam, my question is that I would like to know from the Honorable Minister that in, a, in order to ensure the transparency, whether the government proposes to provide composite extracts of the land records along with the photos identity of the property owner with the both structural and graphical details of the landowner. It is true that the state of land records in our country is very poor. And one of the reasons for this is that for decades, the survey has not been done. In Bihar, for example, the last time the survey was done was in 1907. In Andhra Pradesh, the last time the survey was done in 1931. In uh, UP, the last time the survey was done was in 1957. So the state of land records is very, very poor. That is why, for the last 20 years, the central government has been running various schemes for modernization of land records. And three years ago, the government launched a comprehensive program called the National Land Records Management Modernization Program, by which the central government provides financial assistance to states for various activities to update the land records, for computerizing land records, for digitizing land records and giving landowners maps with the boundaries, as the Honorable Member has asked, for making online mutations on the land records, for computerizing the registration offices and linking the registration offices and the land record offices. So we have launched an ambitious program in 267 districts of the country, and by 2017, we will cover all 620 districts of the country. Now, Madam, I want to make one very important point regarding land records in our country. India is one of the few countries in the world where the record of rights on land is presumptive. It is not conclusive, unlike many other countries. We are presumed to be owners of the land unless proved otherwise. And that is why we have lots of land disputes and a lot of problems in land acquisition in our country. We have Progressively, we will move towards a conclusive titles, but before we do that, we need to update our land records, we need to make them online, and we must ensure that the survey of the land records is up to date. I am very happy that in states like Karnataka, Gujarat, Haryana, many states, the process of surveying, resurveying land records has been taken up. Excuse me, madam. Regarding the photos, the identification has been not answered, madam. Madam, some states, like for example in Karnataka, which was one of the first states to launch this program called Bhumi, in Gujarat, which has got a program called Dhara, various state governments have different approaches. They have the photograph of the landowner, they have the record of rights, and they also have the boundary of the map that is given uh, to the landowner. So in some states, this computerization has taken place, but Computerization can also be garbage in, garbage out. If you're not computerizing the right ownership, you're not going to get the right record. That is why we have been telling the state governments that you must resurvey the land under any circumstances. We have provided the money. The state governments are having practical problems in starting the resurvey. But I'm hopeful, Madam, as I have mentioned, in a couple of states it has already started. Andhra Pradesh has started, Gujarat has started, Haryana has started, Maharashtra has started, Madhya Pradesh has started. In many states, the program of survey has started, and I'm hopeful by the end of the 12th five-year plan, our state of land records would be completely up to date. Yes. Shri Jagdanand Singh. 